Alright, so welcome to the next step in my um, 4x4 solving tutorial. Now, in this step, you're going to be pairing up all these edge pieces. And that is crucial to solve it like a 3x3. Because after we pair up all these edge pieces, it's basically a giant 3x3. With these four center pieces serving as one center piece. And these two paired up edge pieces serving as one edge piece. And then we can continue to solve it as a 3x3. So, um, this is what this is a correct example of what you want, where you've got two edges paired up like this, and they're in the correct orientation, so I've got orange and orange and green and green. And so, to pair an edge up, you first have to find two that can be paired. Um, so, you want to look around and find two that you want to pair up. So, I want to pair up this um, red, white, red edge piece, and this red, white edge piece. Now, um, you have to get them in the correct orientation to be paired up. And the correct orientation to be paired looks like this. Where the two edge pieces have pro or opposite colors on top. So you can see this red-white edge piece has red facing me. And this red-white edge piece has white facing me. And so I can connect them like that. And now they're correct. But you'll notice that how they were before, when they both had the same color on top, I could not connect them, because they're in the same layer. Um, so, if you're having the problem where they're in the same orientation like this, so they have the same color facing you, it's really easy to switch their orientations. And what you want to do is bring one of them up, it doesn't matter which, and twist into the U face, like this. And now, get the color that you need facing you, facing you. So, for example, I can look at this edge piece, and I see that red is facing me. So I need white facing me. So that's correct. And then you need to bring this one into position. And to do that, you're going to make an F turn. Like so. But you'll notice when I make that F turn, it brings this one with it. But this one should be down here. So to fix that, you need to bring this edge piece out of place by bringing it either down. Yeah, you have to bring it down because if you bring it up, then it's in the same layer again. So you have to bring it down like that. And now twist this one where it goes like this. And now you can bring this one back up and you see now that they're in the right orientation so they have opposite colors facing me. And now I can pair them up like this. So I can just bring them together and then what you want to do is you want to twist them into the U face like this. And now I have to replace them with an edge that isn't paired up like this one. Because you'll notice when I paired them up, I unsolved my centers. And I need to resolve them. So um, I have to bring an unmatched pair into place like this and then move the center pieces back to where they were. And I can't bring a matched pair in because when I bring a matched pair in, when I resolve the centers, it breaks up the matched pair. And we don't want that. So bring an unmatched pair into its place just like this, like that. And bring it down and then resolve the centers and so now we have one matched up edge piece and so do that with the rest of them um, there are a total of 12 edges on the cube and do as many as you can if you're lucky you'll be able to pair up all 12 without any problems however if you encounter a parity error which I'll go over in the next step you'll only be able to pair up 10 of the edges